Things were changing. Hello, welcome to Star Citizen After Dark here. Thank you, Elsie. Appreciate you. You little troublemaker, you. I see what you're doing. Adding a little spark. Adding a little spark. I see what you're doing, you little troublemaker. You. Yep. Hello, friends. It's one of those videos again. Perhaps I'm completely out of touch here, but I wanted to ask the viewers a question. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions here, so I'm super interested to think what you think, so comment in the comments with your comments. We begin. Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. We just had a Q&A with the developers who are developing master modes. That summary is linked up for you right now. And during that summary, they said that there are some parts that haven't really been addressed, such as QED and what to do with racing. Racing is a pillar of Star Citizen. It's one of the things that was out before planets and has the potential to be really fun and it has a cult following within the game. Jared observed that perhaps the racetracks would need to be adjusted to conform to the new, less performing flight model. And that's definitely one way to approach the problem. But to clarify, I believe that he was talking about what we remember from other earlier patches where ships, specifically racing ships, could carve high speed turns by boosting with very little drifting. High speed, high skill, and yes, unrealistic in many ways, but there was a huge racing community because it was fun and challenging. Reading chat during that live show, it did spark up a little bit when he said that, and some of the comments were along the lines of the following basic themes. Some people wanted the speed and agility in racing to remain the same. Some people said racing, even if slower, was fine as long as it was fair, and some people- I didn't even think about this angle. This is this is crazy for the race for the racers like Luigi and others like um, Black Maze, others out there that are that are in Atmo and XGR, they must be like they are probably rolling around not too happy about these changes. But speed is essential when you're racing. Like the the fun part about racing is the speed and the G force and the pushing it to the limit and in master modes so here's here's a fix to this situation i mean it's a pretty easy fix if you ask me you take all racing ships racing tiered ships strictly meant for racing and you know what ships they are and then you apply old code to those ships because they're not going to be effective in combat they're only going to be effective in in racing and so you code them so that they, so that they, you got the old school vibe on the racing ships only. I think that's, that's the way to kind of go about it personally. People went on right, to say right that racing right. would die after 323, which I think is pretty dramatic. And I hope that those posts were meant to be funny. I have the topic today broken down into two parts, the two chained ideas. The first is guns. And I'm going to begin with a little story. When dog fighting, yeah, yeah, Stunner's right. You know, like Chris isn't sitting there tapping his fingers trying to poop on everybody who's who's a racer. You know, like he's they're gonna make things right for for racers. I think master modes might be a little bit slow for racers personally. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a good talking point for sure. Fighting in Star Citizen, you may eventually plateau, and I used to spice things up to improve my skill further by changing to a more challenging opponent or some other factor. I love to enter a squadron battle with an M50 or some other racing ship, but my M50 had a fixed pair of Omnisky and I didn't even mind if I died more. I quickly realized that I was actually able to get behind a target and just sit there. I realized that despite having weaker guns, they actually couldn't shake your agility and you could actually be quite competitive landing the DPS. Dogfighting in a racing ship was viable and it somewhat became the meta for many patches. And there was also a patch, I believe it was patch 2.1, where we were still using IFCS. Around the racing track, I yeah. was able to pick up a couple seconds by removing the missiles and guns because that flight model was still physicalized. The ship mass was calculated based on the parts and their location. So taking a couple tons of guns off resulted in real gains. The second part of this chained idea is the concept of building an actual racing ship. 
Teams, real teams, spend millions choosing magnesium, aluminum, titanium, carbon, Kevlar, and carbon fiber. Power to weight ratio is the key to unlock all aspects of performance. And center of gravity is the key to unlock all aspects of the change of direction. Unless I'm in some kind of Mad Max type endurance race, and if I was purely focused on getting around the track as quickly as possible, I think we can agree the guns, the ammo, the missiles, countermeasures, and hard points would come off. Also, any avionic or defense system that doesn't make that ship turn better, that doesn't make me boost longer, that does not prevent me from blowing up because of overheating, would be thinned out and probably left in the garage. Racing ships in Star Citizen are specialized ships in a larger fleet of Star Citizen ships. Because this is the new direction for the flight model, all ships do need to be part of master modes, which makes sense. They all need to conform to the same rules and must be balanced. But the balance issue does not always need to be a one-to-one -one solution. Rather than trying to balance the racers with all other ships, why not ensure the racers are balanced against each other for a competition and then take other steps to ensure the racing ships will never offer any performance that will become OP against other ships. The mode switching component of Master Modes is all about balancing many aspects of flight gameplay including bounty hunting and being hunted. If your racing ship has no weapons and your racing ship mounts a racing scanner, it would automatically present zero tactical advantage for you to be anywhere other than a racetrack in that ship, and it would therefore be very easy to balance. No weapons and that lightweight sensor would also justify why that ship is able to get around the racing track better than another. A racer needs only to see the waypoint and needs to see where the opponents are. So that was the idea of the racing scanner. Take the teeth off of the racing category and then unlock a racing performance envelope. Then you don't need to modify any of the racing tracks because like they're probably lots of fun exactly like the way they solution. are. And I used to really love racing in the earlier patches and I'm not asking for the old flight system. I am however asking why nobody's considered removing weapons as a balance option. That's the core of the whole idea. As soon as the pilot decides that their racing ship needs offensive systems, the ship is returned to a more standard master mode envelope. Again, in closing, I'm all about and I fully appreciate the challenges that the developers face to balance the game, to balance Star Citizen. I also appreciate that I haven't actually addressed the problem or the idea of a racer trying to put down a lap in the PU without being attacked by another player in a fighter because we still have parts of law missing. We still expect all of those problems to be addressed in the future. Racing isn't what it was, and I think it's about to get worse. And this might be an easy way for racers to have the exciting performance and experience that they're looking for without creating a situation where that performance can be exploited in combat. What say you? Comment in the comments. I think this is going to be a rough time. I think this is going to be a rough time for racers. I like Noob's solution. I don't know necessarily if being under master modes then thus puts an entire blanket on every archetype of ship. I don't know that in terms of the design. I don't know if that's true or not. Apparently from what Noob is saying is that, you know, all ships apply. Once master modes is put down, it's put down and there's no escaping master modes. You, there's no way to code the ships independently from master modes. It's kind of where I'm getting this um, line of reasoning from Noob. I'm not quite sure that's 100%, but Noob is Noob, and Noob does his research. So if Noob says it, I'm pretty much on the same page as Noob because I know Noob puts copious amounts of time into researching such things. So, you know, like his his idea of, you know, kind of going into physicalized condition sets with racing ships makes sense because then you're adjusting – the the variables of the racing ships therefore but i think all in all like generally speaking that you're going to see a lot of racers be upset for the next few months until something can be done for them i really uh, you know this is something that just i didn't even think about i'm surprised this this entire angle did not think about it how many out you uh how many of you out there are racing now and are upset about the master mode changes and what's going to happen in the races. I wish Luigi was here. I would love to talk to Luigi right now. With your comments, now is the time for feedback to the devs before all of these systems are fully dialed in. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse. You laugh, Elsie, but there's, there's a huge amount of people. There's a huge amount of people in racing leagues. 
Uh, it's it's a large demographic of I mean it's it's not large in terms of the actual amount. Of, there, there's enough people involved in racing to where I think it's important and needs to be talked about. Even though you're laughing, Elsie, <laughs> I know it's not your thing, but there's a lot of people. There's a lot of gamers out there that are into the racing, and this is going to throw a wet towel on them. This will for a while until they figure this out. So I, I like this noob, um, cool dude. Good topic. Good topic. Good topic, dude. Friend of the channel. Uh, good discussion. Good discussion.